Hello guys, what is going on? This is George from George Gamer, and today, as you can see on our screen, we are pl well. I wouldn't say playing; we're making. We are making a FPS this time. So today, what we're going to run through is the interface itself, and I shall show you what we will be creating. Obviously, I'm going to go with it as we go along, so there's not an actual final copy to show. But we are going to be aiming at a PC FPS. Uh, PC, Max, or Linux. That's the end. Uh, we're using the Unity engine. So let's take you a quick look. Look. So right. So as we can see up here, you get files. You got blood, blood. Uh, new scenes. Uh, these are used for. Let's say this is this is your first scene. Well, that's your first scene. That's where all your game is. If you want to open up a new scene, you can use it for a different level, if you will. Um, and you and for the menu as well, also. So save scenes, uh, new project, that's a new project as a whole, um, build settings, actually build settings to say you want to go into like Xbox, but obviously I do not have license for that yet, because this is actually free, this engine is good. So you've got a web player, you've got a PC or Mac, now say Minecraft, Minecraft is a PC and Mac and Linux. So you're looking at Windows, uh, you can change the settings if you like Windows, and then you go 86 and 64 bit, that's the one we want now. As you can see, <clears throat> right. So we got the hierarchy, which is literally everything from your assets and blah 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 down here. Your project goes in here. That's where the game is. But there, in other words, just everything goes in here. So you can edit blah 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 uh, assets. You can create assets. You can create JavaScript, C script, uh, Boo script, shader, uh, prefabs, materials. <clears throat> animations. Now the good thing is about Unity is if you download some of the pre-games like they like to do, this is very user friendly and it's good for the noob, if you will. I'm a noob, if I'm honest, so you'll you'll probably just know as much as me. Um so you've got components, you can make meshes with um physics, you can do all your physics with the rigged body, you can make your own scripts from here, blah blah, blah. create a train, import hyper blah, blah. so from here you can import height maps to blah blah blah. Custom, transform, copier, it's the same, it's just a load of crap really at all. So, right, so here you have your hand, you move it around, obviously you've got enough to move around, move it a little bit, position, rotation, and adjustments to the size. Now, this is the play button, so when there's a game, you'll be playing it. Unfortunately, we do not have a game. And I don't know what you're thinking, if it's playing the game, you're getting any fraps. Ah, correction, no you don't. Because the in, in itself is the engine, so you're just recording the whole engine itself. So, right, today we are going to go through, so I've been through the interface a bit. So today we're going to actually create a terrain. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, so what you want is terrain, create terrain. Now as you can see, you've got your terrain and that's your game scene. Now ignore that for a minute. Uh, what we want to do is... God, it takes ages to move this out. So, this is our terrain. Now we can edit it from the right on the inspector tab. Um, and you've got the script, so we can use it as script to edit. Um, so what we're first going to do is we're going to make a mountain, if you will. Uh, something like this. So we're going to put the brush size up to about here. Now we're going to make the brush size busy you can go. And we're going to do this. We're just going to rise up the top. We're just going to make it all go up. As you can see, this won't be perfect. As I am literally just showing you what this is all about. If you want, you can get different... It's like, in other words, it's a Photoshop sort of thing. You can get different brushes and etc. etc. So you can actually do this. So this is going to be our map itself, so everything in the game, is this will be the level. Now the FPS, and the FPS is are actually hot, mm, they're not as easy as I'd like to say they are. I mean the easiest one I've done is got to be the third person, so I'd quite, I believe they're easier than what an FPS what we're making today. So yeah, I'm good. So this is our terrain. Obviously we've got a couple of crappy mountains just to get the ball rolling. Right now, <clears throat> first thing you're going to want to do to this is you're saying, oh look, I haven't got any grass or anything like that. 
So what then you're going to do is you're going to go to brush. Uh, it's just a paint the textures, and you're going to want to go edit textures, add a texture. Now 2D uh, texture, 2D. So normal map and texture. So texture. We're going to go for grass. Captures on. <laughs> so what you want is grass hill, grass rock. Which you want? Grass hill. So we're going to get another grass hill, and we're going to double fill it. So there we go. Now that fills the whole thing. Now what you want to do is add another. And this one's going to be our cliff. So if you want we can just put cliff. Like so, double click. Uh, another cliff. And double click again. And then you're going to want to add that. Right now you have to select it and then over the top. Oh my bad. Control Z if you want to. Now we're going to just highlight all this. And we are going to paint on it. So so literally it looks a lot more realistic than the oh, bloody hell. So yeah, it's gonna look a lot more realistic than it actually would. Oh, for goodness sake. You can always resize the brush, but I am literally too ass lazy to do it. Yep, that's me. Too lazy. That's got fucked. So And obviously this isn't perfect because it's just going to be rushed because these are like about 10 minute episodes. Right, so we've got the... We've got the, the cliffs and floor down. Right now what do we want to do? We want to add some trees. Now I want to add a tree. Now what tree do I want to add? Tree. Let's see, what else do we have? I think I'm going to go with the big trees. Actually, no, for the outskirts, I'm going to do this one, the high tree. Just add that. Now, brush size, I'm going to put that massive, and I'm going to put as many trees as I can get in there. So, as you can see, so it's creating our land. It's making it look a lot better. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm realising that this is looking pretty crappy. Just because I've just done the outskirts of the actual map. So what I really want to do now, after I've done all these trees, is I want to go and get into that little level where everything's just flat. I want to go and pimp that out a bit. So it's like, yo dog, I heard you like trees. There you go. But no, we're going to put hills in. We're going to do little hills. And that could be massive. Um, have I missed anything? Let's have a look. Not looking good this end. Good, good. So, now I want to bring up some more terrain. Now we can change it past here. Yes, so we can do that. And if you haven't already guessed it, you can sort of see it coming up as well as a shade. Now that looked crappy. Because there's still the grass there. It's still got the grass or feature to it. So what we... I mean, well, the texture to it so what we want to do again is click the we're going to add another one actually because I don't think we should have that one uh, grass I swear there was one that was grass and rock there you go that's a good one to add and then we go grass and rock again the, the whole interface of Unity itself is actually really cool and easy to use I was really surprised when I first used this because I was looking into it anyway but yeah, so then we're going to add some more trees. Uh, we're going to do the big tree for the middle, because I do like this big tree. Don't ask what I did. So now you're, you're going to want to hi highlight it, just in case. If it never comes out the, the right way, it's because you haven't highlighted it. As I've found out the hard way about four times. But yeah, there you go. And sorry about the mic, guys, if it's not very loud. If you can't hear me, please tell me, because then I'll change it all in the next episode. But yeah, so there we go. We have got pretty much all that done now. Um, that's pretty much it for the first part. Oh, and also we're going to want to add a skybox, aren't we? Yeah, so there you go, there's the game. Well, what I'll do then, I'll throw in a first person really quickly. But first I'm going to put a sky in there. So what you want to do is go to edit, render settings, and you want to click here where it says skybox material. Click that little circle because that brings up all your assets and blah blah blah. So you put sky 
Now you want to put sunny or sunny free. It's up to you. Well, I'm going to have twenty disk. Nah, fuck that. Overcast? No, I'm going sunny free. Fuck it. Now, if you look up here, it gives you the sky. Now, what I'm going to do for you guys is I am going to put in a lovely first person shooter. Now, we do not want the prefab. Prefab doesn't come with actually as many of the script as you think. Now we want this one because this is a, a character controller. So we've got all the mouse scripts. Blah, blah. So now what we want to do is we are going to want to. We're going to drop you in there. Don't click him as a hierarchy. And as you can see now, this is everything up close. Now, if you. Oh, my bad. Now, if you want. Have a look around. So if we want now. We can actually play the game. Now if we press here. It shouldn't put the game in full screen. Oh well it has. So look. As you can see we don't need to script all this. Because the scripts are actually pretty written for us. Which is a good thing. Because I really hate writing the script. It takes too long. But yeah. So we've got the actual FPS. Now if we were to pause it. And then maybe do this. You can see. So we don't want to maximise it on play. We want to just play. Now if you look in this window, you'll see this little, I don't know, cylinder shape thing. Just, it will move, because that is our player. That is the FPS, as you can see. So now I'm going to be looking at us, and we're like here. Pew, 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 pew. But there we are. We are here. So there you go. It's all movable. I believe the trees are not programmed correct well scripted correctly because i think for fa i know for a fact well by look of it we can actually walk through them so let's have a look oh look at that the sky looks beautiful today oh get up the hill there you go here's a tree let's see oh no that was a bit scripted right brilliant so yeah so the trees are all scripted in so you can't actually walk through the trees which is brilliant for like about five minutes work that we've done now the next thing i want to do guys quickly as i do this because it would annoy me is add a light now don't forget i'm just as new to this as you so i'm gonna add a game object create other directional or point light direction so then i'm gonna want to drag this into the first person so now wherever that goes it goes with me in other words so i can like look around now Oh, come on, play. So I can look around and the light will be with me all the way. Now this is actually quite good because, it, say, if you look here, where the mouse is, look there. Now, I'm looking at it now. If I look away, it's still, it's not bright because it's facing its aim over here. Now if I turn back around, pew, it's back there again. And it looks pretty good, if I'm honest. So there you go. So there is our first part guys, we are done for that for today, um, probably next episode what I'll do is whack in a lake or something like that, a river, probably something to make it look a bit more realistic. So then what we're going to do is we're going to save project, so there we go guys, I hope you enjoyed it and peace out and I shall see you all soon, ta -da.